Tonight, the Fox 5 investigative team blows the lid off a shady scheme that's been secret until now. We are talking big money, the black market, and yeah, even hot dogs, believe it or not. Here's Fox 5's John Dutzman. Sir, I'm sorry. Stop wasting your time, okay? I'm not wasting my time. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. This woman named Maria works for a place called the Food Vendors Help Center in Queens. By the end of the story, you can judge how helpful they really are. I promise we can help you get. In a bit, you'll get to see how our undercover investigation catches Maria in a big fat lie. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. We'll get back to Maria, but first, you need to know that when it comes to food vendors, the laws are supposedly designed to help the little guy break into the business. But... Now, you're working for somebody else here. Yes, sir, I work for somebody else. Would you love to have your own cart? Of course, I love to. But it's hard to do, right? It's very hard to do. It's almost impossible for the little guy to get into the business and own his own cart. Why? Because first you have to get a permit like this from the health department. It goes on the cart kind of like a license plate on a car. They cost 200 bucks and are good for two years. If you're lucky enough to have one, you can renew it forever. But here's the problem. In order to keep a handle on things, the city only allows 3,000 of these cart permits to be out there. And it's been capped at 3,000 permits for years. So how does someone who wants to get into the vending business do it? In theory, you can get a permit for your cart legally. When a vendor retires or quits, that permit is supposed to go back into the system and made available to the public through lotteries occasionally held by the health department. But it rarely happens that way, the legal way. We got a tip on how it really happens, and that's where the so-called Vendors Help Center comes in. Posing as two people wanting to get into the food vending business, members of the Fox 5 investigative unit went to see Maria. A permit we can help you get. We have customers that have permits huh? that don't use them, they're retired or whatever. So they rent them to other people that to, to use them. When you're ready for a permit, uh, a two-year permit could run, I guess, anywhere from like 5,500 to 6,500. Okay. Did you get that kind of acting as a broker? Maria says she could hook us up with a permit for between $5,500 and $6,500. That's 30 times more than the legal price when you get a permit from the health department. And you'd be getting it with someone else's name on it. The law is very clear. You can't transfer these permits. In fact, it says right on them, not transferable. So it's like the only way like to do it if he wants to get into it is like you guys are like our best bet, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Everybody pays six grand for this. It's expensive. It's not like illegal or anything like that. It's okay. perfectly it's cool. normal. Now this black market system might be normal, but it sure isn't legal. And under this system, the black market, not the health department, controls the permits when they become available. Also, despite a law that if there's only supposed to be one permit per person, under this system, a person with big money can come in and buy up dozens of permits, shutting everyone else out. And it looks like the health department is partly to blame, because while they make it real clear that it's illegal to sell these permits to someone else, there doesn't seem to be a solid system in place to make sure illegal transfers are not occurring. As for Maria at the Vendors Help Maria, Center, right? she seems yeah, to have forgotten know. about the shady permit deal she offered our under... We've been told if people come in here, you say you could hook them up with a, a permit for between $5,500 and $6,500. No, I haven't and I don't. Okay. Let's go back to that hidden camera tape. When you're ready for a permit, uh, a two-year permit could run, I guess, anywhere from like $5,500 to $6,500. How come uh, we have you on tape saying that? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Now, we tried to get a hold of the owner of the Vendors Help Center. We wanted to show him what we had on tape, but he didn't return our phone call. Advocates for the vendors say if the city lifted that cap at 3,000 and made it more wide open, you wouldn't have this kind of ticket scalping for permits. And the health department tells us they're looking into what we uncovered in this investigation. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News.